pull it here. Okay. Um, today I'm going to share with you a file here that uh, talk about the uh, Missouri Western policy. Policy. Okay. So there are some policy. Uh, regarding to the uh, situations that I wish none of us will experience. However, if uh, you run into this kind of situation, you probably want to know the policy to protect yourself, to protect yourself. Okay, we're gonna take a look at that. I'm gonna share the screen here. I will also uh, share the file to you through email. Uh, let me share the screen, okay. Share. All right, so you can see, I'm trying to keep an eye on the uh, video screen, just in case somebody dialed in. Uh, you can see this uh, uh, discovery, discovering Missouri Western policy. Okay, the three websites, three or four, Let's see, four websites, actually just one website, but four links that are very important for us to understand the policy. Certainly the first one is Missouri Western homepage. But sometimes even you go to the homepage, some information are hard to find, hard to find. Certainly you can search, but uh, I did the search last night and I found that some, some, sometimes, for example, you, if you type in a phrase, uh, let's say I type in uh, last day to withdraw a class without a W, I, I type in something like that. It come out a bunch of stuff that uh, is, uh, some of those pages are already obsolete, already obsolete. So I want to, point out three other pages that is really important to us. The first one is a catalog. We call it a catalog. Uh, it used to be printed out a catalog, but to uh, save money, that's a, the printing fee is a huge cost. So to save money, we don't print out cat catalog anymore. So it's all online. The catalog has a time, is time sensitive. This year's catalog is 2020 to 2021. So you guys will need to look at this catalog here. I have a link over there. Uh, this one is a link, missouriwestern.edu slash catalog. And if you go to that link, you'll see the catalog. The first part of the catalog talk about the university policies regarding admission, regarding tuition. Uh, certainly right now they make those catalog into searchable uh, index. Sometimes it's, uh, uh, it's even harder to navigate. Sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's harder, okay? So uh, just a catalog that you, I would ask you uh, to pay attention to that. That's a policy, the catalog. Again, the catalog is a policy bonding you and the university, bonding you and the university. Another one here is a student handbook student handbook. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> again, 
the handbook changes every academic year. An academic year is from August to July of next year. So the handbook changes, and this one is for 2020 to 2021 handbook. This one here, student handbook. It has a lot of information, has a lot of information. But this one here, uh, legally, is less funding as the catalog, okay, as a catalog. This is almost like a, a provide you information and certainly there are certain rules that is explained in the student handbook that we all got to follow. But uh, uh, since it uh, incorporate the uh, explanation of those rules, so uh, I would say it's, uh, there's a lot of good information, but it's less legally binding. Uh, then we are enrolling class, we are uh, dealing with the classes. This uh, I think is more concerned with us is uh, this uh, register office, register office website, more concerning to us. Uh, if you, I hope none of us will run into the situation that you will need to, for example, appeal a grade. Uh, you will need to drop a class. You will need to change a class from uh, credit to audit. I wish we don't need to do that. Uh, but uh, uh, situation sometimes is out of your control. Yeah, uh, I gave you me as an example. I took a class <clears throat> uh, for faculty members, uh, taking a class here uh, is, uh, is free. Now, if you are a, a direct relative of an employee of Missouri Western, then your tuition has a reduction. Okay, that sounds good, right? So I took a class. But there is a fine print that I didn't read. Even as a faculty member or as a direct relative of a Missouri Western employee, that's a fine print, which says if you didn't get a C or better grades, you still need to pay the tuition. Okay, so uh, I gave you an example of that. That's the reason that we need to know the policy. Because uh, I think that semester I was really busy. I took a, some kind of keyboard class and I didn't have time to practice. And I didn't go to class very often. Apparently, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it up to uh, need to pay for myself and also have a F on my transcript with Missouri Western. <laughs> so that's something that a policy that we need to pay attention to. Okay. I'll give you another example here. We had a student in the program who took a, a physics class, physics 110. And the instructor uh, claimed that she cheated, plagiarized, plagiarized. And uh, uh, the instructor's evidence is that her final exam is identical to another student's final exam. The answers are identical. Uh, for example, if you uh, if the test asks you, okay, what's the final velocity of an object, and the velocity is going to be sixteen point six seven. And her answer is exactly 16.67, which those two are identical even after two digits, even two digits after the decimal points. So for every problem, they're identical. So the instructor suspected that she cheated. <clears throat> so that's the only evidence. 
then she got to appeal. So we need to know, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> so we need to know the uh, appeal process, the appeal process. There is a academic appeal committee uh, in the uh, university. Academic appeal in the university. So uh, you need to uh, uh, know the policy, how to appeal. Certainly, I don't want, I don't want everybody, I don't want anybody to run into this situation. But in case uh, somehow you need to appeal a grade, there is a process that you can do to appeal a grade, to appeal a grade. And eventually uh, she succeeded. So that's a big deal because if she didn't succeed, she wouldn't be able to graduate. And uh, uh, certainly we, uh, plagiarism is uh, not allowed in the university. But if an instructor doesn't have any evidence, just suspicion, that's not enough to um, claim that uh, somebody is uh, cheated, is plagiarized. So that's not enough. Certainly, I want you to you spend money here, you want to learn something. And uh, while you learn something, you got a good grace. I don't want you to, uh, I don't want you to cheat. I, I don't encourage you to cheat. But in a situation that you have to appeal your grades, uh, there is a process. You, it's better for you to know that there is a process for you to protect your interest, to protect your interest. <clears throat> okay, now there are some other policy that you might need to know that might concern you. For example, uh, Missouri Western has this, uh, uh, maximum credit hour that you can take each semester is 18. For the summer is nine. Nine credit hours is all you can take during the summer. Now, in case you need, you need to take more, it's not absolute that you cannot take more than 18 hours. It's just you need to go through a process they call the overload uh, application form. There is a form that you need to fill out. Certainly it's a little bit more complicated because you need to have your advisor to sign off the form. At the same time, you need to have the college dean to sign off. You need to have two signatures to sign off. Okay, so this uh, is a policy that might concern some of us. Another one is repeating a class. What's the policy of repeating a class? What's the policy of Missouri Western calculating GPA? I don't want, I discourage every one of us to repeat a class and do it right first time. Get a good grade, get a good grade first time. I encourage every one of us. But in case something happened and you didn't pass the class, you didn't pass the class, you need to repeat the class. What's the university policy? What's the university policy policy for repeating a class? Okay, now again, those policies are changing year by year. And this year is year 2000 and 2021. Okay, so according to this year's policy, you can repeat a class as many times as you want, as many times as you want. And also if you're repeating the same class, you're repeating the same class, 
your newer grades will replace the old grades. No matter the old grades is better or worse, certainly in most, situa most situations, your old grades is worse. But no matter what, the newer grades will replace the old grades in GPA calculations, in GPA calculations. Okay, but your grade, your transcripts will have every time you took the class will have a record of that, will have a record of that, unless you withdraw a class before, you withdraw a class before a certain date, before a certain date, okay, before a certain date. And this date is very, very early, it's very, very early. Uh, that's something that one of the questions, I want you to do some research on your own here, uh, we have a bunch of questions. I want you to answer, pick out five and answer five of those questions that might be interest to you. And for example, the first question, what is the last day to drop a class in the fall or in the spring semester without a W, without a W? Okay, and I know October 23, this semester, is the last day to withdraw a class, but there is a W on your transcript. There is a W on your transcript. Without a W, it didn't say, it basically it says, just say, drop and add period. After that period, you drop, you will have a W recorded. You will have a W recorded. Okay, so the drop and add period is gonna be the last day you can withdraw a class without a W, without a W. You didn't clear say that. So you gotta read those fine prints of the policy. Now, after October 23, you can't even drop, you can't even withdraw a class. You, you say, well, I just don't come. So what's gonna happen? What's going to happen is that if you don't come, you're going to have an F instead of a W on your transcript. You're going to have an F. You're going to have an F. So then I want everybody to pass every class. I want everybody to pass every class. Now, what is passing, by the way? Uh, we talk about uh, this major form before. A few classes ago, we talked about a major. And uh, to get a degree, uh, you know that we have two parts. One is called a general studies, one is called major program. Those are the course that you need to take to get a degree, right? For general studies, uh, you need to get D to pass. That's minimum D. Okay. Now I want to I want you to pay attention to that. If you if you want to pass a class, your goal is a D, you usually ended up less than a D. You ended up not passing it. So if you want to pass a class, a class, set your goal at least a C or B, and then you'll be able to pass. If you set your goal as a D, you're not gonna pass, I can tell you, okay? So, uh, general studies, at least minimum, you got a D. Now there are some other constraints though. One constraint is that, for example, Mass 116 is a prerequisite of Mass MAT 147. You gotta have a C or better to get into 147. So you said, well, I got a D in mass 116, then you have to take it again. Then you have to take it again. Those are the constraints. Another constraint that you got to maintain 2.0 in order to graduate. You got a bunch of Ds 
And uh, if your GPA, a D, the GPA is only one. Your, your average GPA falls below 2.0, you wouldn't be able to graduate. Then you have to take the class again. All right. So those are the uh, uh, policies, the rules. Now, how about the major course? Major course, you have to have C above. Uh, those major course are CET class and um, uh, MET class, EET class, EGT class, uh, not including the math class, not including the chemistry, physics, even the part of the major program. Uh, you can have a D in one of those classes to graduate. Certainly, I uh, wish everybody got an A. I wish everybody get an A. Uh, and you will be able to, to get an A if you uh, follow the techniques that I talked about the last uh, class, right? You follow instruction, you do whatever the instructor asks you to do, and uh, certainly it's in class, okay, in class. And uh, you take notes and you organize it. Uh, you take notes, you organize everything, and uh, then you'll do good. You, you turn in everything in time, then you'll do good. Uh, you'll get, uh, you'll get uh, A, you get a good grades. Okay, uh, so those are the uh, policy uh, regarding uh, policy regarding the uh, class drop at repeating uh, how the GPA is calculated, and uh, uh, I wish we. None, I, I wish none of us will run into those special situations, but it happened very often, happened very often. Okay, so for example, there's uh, uh, questions here, what's a great appeal policy, a refund policy. Uh, thus, you can probably go into admissions web page, refund policy, and the admissions web page, uh, check the tuition. What's a refund policy? Credit limit, we talk about that. Uh, policy for placement in math and the English course. We have a placement we have a placement test for your ACT, your ACT score. Okay, again, it changes year by year. Uh, what's Missouri Western audit policy? Uh, you got you got to check that audit. Is that a, you 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 sit in? You don't want to pay money. You just sit in over there. I don't think the university encourages that, but there's some policy that you need to check it out. Uh, if it concerns to you, if it concerns to you. Uh, Missouri Western policy on academic probation. If your, uh, if your GPA, average GPA is below 2.0, you put on probation, you put on probation. And after the probation period, if your GPA is still below 2.0, you'll be kicked out for at least one semester. Okay, certainly I don't hope any one of us will run into this situation, but if you do, you need to know the policy. Uh, if you are on your uh, second suspension, how many, sus I don't want any of us have a suspension, but if you have a suspension, second suspension, how many semesters are you required 
to sit out before you are allowed to return. And uh, those are the questions that uh, uh, I want you to pick out the five that you think is most likely to concern with you to find the answer for that, okay? To find the answer for that. I'll, I'll save the file in the uh, email. I'll save the file in the, in, in the Canvas and Canvas will send you an email. And you can just type in in the file and then email me back the file here. You find an answer, for example, for this semester or next semester, for spring semester, you say, okay, August 23, August 24, last day to withdraw without a W. Where you find the information, register a website. You fill out the information like that. You answer five questions, answer five questions, okay? Answer five questions, and then you don't have to answer the, all of them, you answer five, and then uh, email me back, email me back. What is the uh, completion rate and uh, GPA needed to remain eligible to receive financial aid? the following semester, if it concerns you, okay. Uh, normally, uh, if you do good, you got a, a or Bs, for sure you will, you, you, you pass everything, for sure you will have a financial aid, right? That's not gonna concern you. But you choose five of the problems. Uh, what's punishment for academic dishonesty? Uh, in what location can you smoke on campus? I don't think that's a, you can smoke anywhere. <laughs> I think a not, that's a non-smoking campus. Uh, I don't smoke, so I don't know. Uh, what are the pre-workout guidelines for the Baker Fitness Center? Wow. I didn't go to fit in the center either. <laughs> uh, what are the six values of Missouri Western? Well, that's a good, good question. Okay, uh, I'm gonna, let me see here, uh, stop share. I'm gonna email you this file here, okay? Uh, any questions, any questions? If you haven't turned in previous homework, uh, I'm still accepting previous assignment previous homework assignments. And this is gonna be the assignment and homework for this week, okay? It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna protect you, okay? It's gonna protect you, protect your interest, protect your interest. Any questions? I said, what was the assignment? The assignment for today, uh, for previous, is that you need to fill out the major form. You need to you prepare a study plan, plan of study, which is some, each semester, what class you plan to take. Okay, if you haven't turned in those two. And then the assignment for today is this file that I will send you, I will email you as attachment. You pick out there are a bunch of questions. You pick out five questions to answer. You pick out five questions to answer this assignment. Okay, good question. Ren, any other questions? Okay, if no more questions, uh, I really appreciate you dial in and I'll see you next Tuesday you guys have a good week. Stay safe, okay? Uh, St. Joseph is still very dangerous. Uh, mask is required everywhere, okay? And uh, thank you. Have a good day. You too, man. You too. Thank you. Thank you.